Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to move in silence. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to move in silence. Now, this has been a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now and I think it's very important, especially as we're transitioning into this new year. A lot of us have new ideas, new visions, new dreams, you know, things that we want to go forth and we want to accomplish. And as you have that excitement and as you have that momentum going, I want to encourage you to move in silence. Move in silence. There is so much wisdom in moving in silence and I have learned this over the years okay and I just really sense that God has been giving many of you guys dreams and visions and many of you guys are deciding to take this next year to step out in faith to leap outside of your comfort zone and you're just so excited that you just want to go forth you just want to let it out you just want to tell the world, right? You're excited about it. But I want to encourage you to celebrate in your quiet time. Celebrate in your prayer closet. Celebrate as you worship and praise unto God. No one has to know what you're praising God about, right? No one has to know what you're worshiping God about, what you're looking forward to. And that's the beauty of the secret place. I know that many of you guys may feel like, well, I need to talk to someone about it. I need to let somebody know. Talk to Jesus about it. Talk to God about it. Let him know how excited you are to carry this new vision, to carry this dream. Pray to him about it and ask him, God, is this really your will? God, give me instruction, God. How can I move forth and bring this vision into fruition, God? How can I be led by your spirit to do this, to accomplish this, to be successful in this? And I'm just telling you and encouraging you guys that God gives the best strategies. You know, I share a lot on this channel about how um, I'm an entrepreneur and God is my boss. God is my boss and he gives me so many great ideas, so many great strategies, but I had to learn to move in silence and to use wisdom. And in the Bible, it says that he makes everything beautiful in its time, right? So timing is very important and everything has a set aside time. To take place the vision that God has given you the dream he has given you he has set aside a time for it to take place and for it to come to pass but if you release it before it's time that could be a very big mistake and I don't want you guys to make that mistake and that is the purpose of this video so I want to share some tips with you guys today on how to move in silence and why it's so important when you don't move in silence and you move before God and you move before his timing, you could expose something that maybe other people are jealous of, envy you. Maybe they pray against it, right? They pray against your vision, your prophecy, your dream coming to pass. Or maybe they copy it. So now they try to steal the enemy. What does he do to steal, kill, and destroy? So the enemy will try to steal your vision and pervert it and, and try to take it and turn it into something else. You know, people can try to steal it. They can try to pray against it or they can try to discourage you from going after it. So you don't only want to pray about the time to release something, but you want to use wisdom and pray about who should I be releasing this to? Because some of your dreams are so big that if you were to share it with someone 
and they discourage you and they don't have belief, you want to make sure that your own belief is strong enough to still stand firm and believe even when people doubt the vision that you have shared with them. God has given you some big visions and some big dreams that you need to make sure that you are building up the faith to be able to carry it and sustain it. What is the measure of your faith? Is your faith big enough to carry this great and grand vision that God has given you? And if it's not, that's okay. You can build up your faith. Build up your faith in your prayer closet. Build up your faith in your quiet time. But don't expose it before it is too early. You don't have to let everyone know your plans. You don't have to let everyone know what you're go going to do, what you're thinking of doing, especially if you have not taken any steps to do it. It's going to be even harder on you, right? Because now you're going to have this pressure. So you're going to start working under pressure and working to try to prove something or to show people that you're doing what you said instead of working as unto the Lord, working freely, right? And you don't want to work under pressure. You don't want to announce something and be like, okay, now that I announced it, now that I shared it with the world, that means that I need to make it happen. We can't make anything happen. God makes things happen. God is the one who's going to bring this dream and this vision to pass. No one can stop what God is doing through you except for you. No one else can stop it, but you can stop it if you're not obedient and if you don't partner with God because he's using you as the vessel. So that means that you have to be in step and in alignment with God and in tune with what he is telling you to do. You are the only one who could get in your way. And the only way you can get in your way is by being disobedient to God. If you are doing exactly what God told you to do, there is nothing that anyone can do, whether they try to kill it, steal it, stop it. They can't stop it. But I want to encourage you do not stop. Do not give up on that schooling. Do not give up on that business. Do not give up on that dream. Do not give up on that vision. Do not doubt that prophecy that God has given you. If God has told you it's going to happen, it is going to happen. As long as you continue to trust him, as long as you continue to seek him, that doesn't mean that you have to be perfect. That doesn't mean that you're not going to make any mistakes. You can still make mistakes, right? You're not going to be perfect. We're human. But I encourage you to seek God more than you seek the approval of man. Seek God's approval. God, how do you like how I did this? God, how do you like this logo? God, how do you like this business plan? God, how do you like this color scheme? God, how do you like this, God? How do you like this presentation? Before putting it out into the world and saying, guys, what do you think? Guys, what are your ideas? Hey, what do you think? What does God think? God is saying, they need to ask me, what do I think? A lot of us were asking everyone else, hey, what do you think about this? I have this new idea. I'm going to start this business. Do you think I should do it this way? Do you think I should do it that way? God is saying, but they're not asking me, what do I think? They don't care. What do I think? And I've placed this vision inside of them for them to carry. So I encourage you to ask God, God, what do you think, God? Have your way, God. God, I submit my plans to you, God. Have your way, Lord. You must protect the dream so it can develop and so that it can grow and blossom. And I think of a woman when she is impregnated and she is carrying her baby. She has to carry the baby for nine months. And in that nine months, the baby is protected in this womb, this barrier. And the baby is being built up and developed and strengthened and building bones and stature. And this baby is being built up before it's time to birth the baby. And even the first few months of the pregnancy is a secret. 
and the parents don't really share you know that they're pregnant until they reach like their their the middle um, of their pregnancy or months down the road then they finally make the decision okay I think it's safe to start sharing with loved ones I think it's safe to start sharing with friends right because we've kept it a secret as the baby was growing and the baby will continue to grow as it is protected in this barrier until it's time to give birth. The parents, they move in silence as they are preparing. They move in silence as they are praying. And even after the baby comes out of the womb and the baby is birthed, they stay at the hospital a few days, protected. Before they get into the real world, they keep the baby at home, protected. So I want to encourage you today, don't be in a rush to just throw something out there. Protect it. Protect it. And I feel like God is saying practically, he wants me to share a practical advice right now. If you have a business idea, a name, you know, a book idea, whatever that is, copyright it. Trademark it. Protect it. Protect the vision that God has given you. Before you announce it to the world, find your website name, find your domain name, lock that down before you put that out into the world and out into the atmosphere. Build the foundation first and make sure that you take time to pray and make sure that it is God that you're hearing from. It is God that is giving you the vision and that you're on the right path. So if you just get an idea and you think it's God and you put it out there, and then weeks down the road, months down the road, you're like, oh, maybe I missed God. Maybe this wasn't God. Now it's like you're going to switch up and people are going to be looking at you like, did you hear from God or did you not? Were you really passionate about it? Or was this just a money grab? Was this just a new scheme? Like, are you really hearing from the Lord? And you don't want to ruin your witness. So when God, when you feel like God is leading you to do something, Pray about it. Take time to labor over it in prayer. Take time to protect it. Take time to build the foundation. And once that foundation is built and you have that solidity in your heart and you feel like, you know, this is really what I'm supposed to be doing, when God releases you to share it, then you share it with the world. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time on my channel, do not forget to subscribe. And I also want to open up the opportunity this month for um, anyone who's interested in working with me. So maybe you're an entrepreneur and um, you have an idea for a business that God has given you that you want to build. Or maybe you're a writer and you want to publish your book. I am opening up the opportunity for anyone who wants to work with me this month. All you have to do is click the link below or click the link up here and visit caroline.com slash WWM. Um, caroline.com work with me. This is my work with me link for you to apply for an opportunity to work with me. All right. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. I hope that this is an amazing new year for you and that you go forth and accomplish everything that God has called you to do. Until next time, bye.